Okay. I'm gonna start, babe. Oh, and it's picking up even though it's muted. Awesome. Sweet. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Shipwrecks. My microphone has been very weird lately and uh, was in the muted position and had not been picking up any audio at all for some time, like half an hour, and then spontaneously decided to start picking up audio even though the light was still flashing for it being muted. So that's awesome. <laughs> but hopefully I didn't say anything too terribly embarrassing. All right, well, I apologize if there are any different technical difficulties as I am streaming on a different computer than usual. Um, so I had to do a whole new setup and hopefully everything works smoothly. Hey, Rain! <laughs> Good to see you. Let me know how I'm looking, how I'm sounding, how everything is looking and sounding, if the music is too loud, if the music is too quiet, if the microphone is actually picking me up. <laughs> Nothing like inconsistent equipment. Yeah, it worked great for the first, like, year or so. And then, um, it's just been really weird lately. I look super cozy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, in my incredibly cluttered studio. <laughs> uh, I think the space looks both more and less cozy than it is in real life. All right. So, ooh, that is promising that the tablet seems to be picking up. So that's good. Oh, the bitrate is being really low. Um, mm -mm. You know what? Um, we didn't, uh, at least I didn't mess with the bitrate settings in OBS. So. I did not mess with this, the bitrate settings in OBS either. Do you want to take a look at it, babe? Yeah. Okay. I think we can change that on the fly. Hopefully. Hey, Vashana! Hey! <laughs> Hello! Close up of my face. <laughs> huh. We don't need it to be 10,000. Yeah, Rain says she's only getting 480p. Uh, huh. Check your ingest rate. Oh, you know what? We're you're not hardwired here. Um, I mean, but I don't hardwire the laptop when I'm working in here either. And it streams fine. Um, we're streaming Nobody's it. complaining about it. <laughs> Sixty frames per second. Probably don't need Probably that. Not. We literally downloaded OBS onto this computer this morning. So, <laughs> apologies. Yeah, streaming over Wi-Fi. Yeah. But I have done that before. Like, that's generally what I do when I do my drawing streams, because I'm in here. Um. Oof, me as in meeting after meeting today. That sucks. Let's send our love to Mia. Um, so I, so I can't change the FPS bef while the video's on. Of course. So I can turn the video off for okay. a second. And yeah. See if we're going to go invisible for a minute. Okay. Pum. Pum. Hopefully that is fine. We'll see. Oh, Isaac Carvey says everything seems fine, so that's good. No, I think you'd have to stop the stream to adjust that, which kind of makes sense. <sighs> that's unfortunate. But Isaac and Foshana both seem to think it's okay, so hopefully it's not too bad. All right, <laughs> Rain says it's not the end of the world, it's just a little fuzzy. Okay. We'll live with it. Yeah, and <laughs> we'll have to figure out if 
to get a very long Ethernet cable. <laughs> yeah. I need to call up the actual image. Oop. I want you to open in here. There we go. Iconic hand touch. Yes. I should probably just like, because I'm, I'm thinking I'll just kind of swipe colors from here. To help guide me as far as the color scheme goes. Because I think that's how I got this blue to begin with. I generally, like, normally I would just do like the normal skin tones and like put a blue tint over it, but I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how this will work out. But yeah, quite a while ago, back in October, I think, um, I did this Utena Anti drawing in Pricefield clothes. And now I'm gonna attempt to Colorize it. Good times. <sighs> Here, work with the uh, the colors from the original because the original is just so is so pretty. Look at their colors, really nice. So yeah, apologies for the technical shit. We will work on it for the next art stream whenever that is. Um, but yeah, the other computer is kind of running low on space and not handling Krita very well. So I figured it was good to try using this computer which handles credit just fine <laughs> I mean thinks there should be more studio art streams. It is, it is a good venue. It's, um, where I do most of my drawing anyway. <laughs> and, importantly, it keeps the wires away from Gideon. Because, like, when they were tiny kittens, it was okay doing the, the streams out in the, uh, kitchen. But, like, which is where we normally stream everything <laughs> but like as she has gotten more and more wire hungry there we go no I would like you to there we go oh tablet tablet giving me some jankiness as is its want I need to rewatch you tonight. It has been too long. It's only been a couple years, but like, it's too long. I really want to rewatch um, Escaflone. I haven't watched that since I was a teen. And a couple years ago, I used a clip from it for like an animation presentation thing. And it was just like, oh god, this is so... It holds up, it just looks so good. <laughs> Come on now. Tablet having issues. <laughs> she craves the angry pixies. She sure does. Bazaar, I crave violence. Ooh, 
serve her watch party for Utena? Yeah. That would be fun. It is gay and iconic. So. And very gender. So gender. Ooh, Foshana says, I literally just purchased the series. Nice. Have you watched it before, or did you, like, purchase it unseen? Just based on vibes. Haven't even opened the packaging yet. Nice. I originally watched it on VHS. Like, in... I guess ninth grade, probably. Um, I don't know where my friend was getting these from. They were not like the official translations or anything, um, which has kind of ruined the official translations for me because this is like, that's not how it's said. That's not what that line is. That's not what <laughs> um, so I just have to kind of deal with that. Oh, Escaflone! Ooh. I need to buy Escaflone. Are you? Yeah, okay. You're. That's why you're giving me issues. Alright. The traditional plugging and unplugging and unplugging and plugging of the, uh, the tablet to attempt to get it to work when it was working perfectly fine a minute ago. Ooh, Voshana has never seen Utena, but would love to. It is very, very gay. Oh, come on now. I would like to be able to uh, have you be pressure sensitive, tablet. I really do need to buy a new tablet. And then I can do more drawing streams because it will be less frustrating. Now that I've got the new computer set up. I may need to turn Krita off and on again if this continues to be a little dick. Mm -hmm. um, but Escaflunny was the same deal for me. Like, I, I also watched that in like ninth grade or so. Okay, I'm gonna close out Krita and start it again and hope that that helps because sometimes it does for reasons I don't really comprehend. such as right now. Um, yeah, so both of them, I, like, watched them with friends who procured the VHS by means unknown and, um... <laughs> Krita, please behave. Yes. Please, for the love of God. It just doesn't always play nicely with my, uh, tablet. But yeah, they were, like, getting these VHS from, like, some unknown contacts. <laughs> and, like, we'd have them for a few weeks and we would just, like, watch them. So Utena felt super long to me. Because it took us a long time to, like, get all of the episodes of it. And then now it's like, oh, it's only 39 episodes? Like, I could just bash this out in a weekend. Why did this take months? Oh, because we had to keep waiting for our illicit... Yeah. You couldn't really get it in a store. We had to, you know... Borrow it from friends who had gotten a fanlation from somewhere. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Moshana says, Mia introduced me to anime when we first met. I fell in love, and the anime was good too. Well played. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I think it's gonna look weird, but I'm gonna have to do a different color under here for now just to like give me a better contrast because I think like when it's a big area it's fine, but like yeah, see, like I wouldn't have been able to see that missed spot at all. <laughs> there we go. This teal is just too close to the background color for the little areas to stand out enough. God, I love this scene. Just such a gay, gay moment. <laughs> Yeah, totally hetero things when you fall asleep with your head on the table and wake up and your roommate's head is also on the table and also her hand is on top of yours. Just, you know, totally, totally hetero things. And also the lighting is just gorgeous, which is the real reason why I'm just kind of cribbing the colors from it, because it's so beautiful. It's a show that does color really well. Scribble, scribble, scribble. All right, make big. Scribble, scribble, scribble. <sighs> what did I do with her eyeglasses? Yeah. Because it's on top of her hand. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, so Vashana, you haven't seen Utena before, but have you have you watched Escaflone before? Or did you just buy it because, yeah, you wanted to watch it and it's like, eh, might as well just buy it. Which is how I got most of my anime collection. <laughs> like, I used to buy them from Suncoast Video, which I don't know if that exists anymore. But yeah, in like 7th and 8th grade, I had a babysitting job, and I would spend all of my babysitting money on buying anime at Suncoast Video. And I didn't really have, like, much access to the internet. It was all, you know, dial-up and stuff, and I don't think there was, you know, IMDB or anything there. So I was like, okay, this looks cool. Sure. I'll drop 30 bucks on this thing I've never heard anything about. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I ended up with a very hmm, eclectic anime collection. <laughs> so just kind of buying stuff based on the box art and description. Ooh, Valshana says, yes, I love the music especially. God, I haven't watched it in so long. I can't really remember the music for Escaflone. I definitely have to rewatch that. I've been wanting to for years. I just keep not for some reason. <laughs> Especially now that it's like actually like you don't have to wait a month to get 
a sketchy VHS copy of it. You can just kind of... Lots of them are on, you know, YouTube. <laughs> Or crunchy roll or you know other legitimate sources. Just need to rewatch everything at this point. The Utena soundtrack is so good. Speaking of quality anime soundtracks, so good. I have gone through phases of just like listening to the theme song on repeat or like listening to the duel songs or a particular duel song on repeat. Like, just they're so good. So weird. The dual songs in particular are very strange, but so good. <laughs> That's just basically the whole vibe of Utena, really. Just like strange, but really compelling and good. It's so fucked up. What a fucked up show. <sighs> so queer. <laughs> Fucked up, weird, good, and very, very queer. Like, whenever I recommend this show to people, I have to be like, just so you know, it's gonna be fucked up. Even for anime, it's gonna be fucked up. Hmm, <laughs> very operatic. That, that makes sense. That kind of fits with the vibe I remember from Escaflane. I'm picturing kind of operatic and maybe like also some very, you know, screaming electric guitars as well. <laughs> nice. Vashana says, the first anime Mia introduced me to was Ranma One Half. Classic. And shortly after, Evangelion. Their box art was what inspired me to start drawing. Nice! Yeah, I definitely did a whole lot, like, especially in my teen years of, like, copying, essentially, um, like, anime box art. Obviously, my style has changed a bit since then. I can no longer really draw anime style, um, which, you know, I am fine with. It did keep me from drawing Utena fan art for a while, though. But I think this works. Like, it's not quite anime style, but it's still... It works. They're recognizable, I, I feel. God, round my one half. Speaking of gender fuckery. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like the pink. <laughs> All right. 
right, let's see. Uthina's hair. That's pretty damn close to her skin, huh? Yeah, she does have very pale hair. to do some jury fan art at some point. See what she looks like now <laughs> with the way I draw now. I think I started drawing fan art bef well before I started watching Utina. Because that was, I think, relatively late in my um, anime experience. <laughs> um, my introduction to anime was actually uh, Devil Hunter Yoko, which I cannot in good conscience <laughs> recommend to anybody. <laughs> Um, but I fucking loved it, and I was way too young to be watching it, but I fucking loved it. Aww, Mia said she was very jealous of Ronma's ability to switch to a girl. Yeah, I think it'd be awesome if you could, like, if it were by choice. Like, if you could choose, like, okay, when I am in, was it, cold water, I'm a girl. When I'm in hot water, I'm a boy. Like... That would be really handy. Just, you know, I could just take a nice hot bath when I feel like being a dude. <laughs> if it weren't for his, like, lack of choice in the matter, then <laughs> it would be great. Um, but anyway, Utena was not my introduction to fan art, but it was what got me, I, I believe anyway, what got me started writing fanfic, or like what got me seriously writing fanfic uh, the first time around, <laughs> back when I used to write fanfic as a teen. Before I took a you know, decade plus hiatus from it, and then Life is Strange Before the Storm pulled me back in. <laughs> oh god, wish I had seen Demon Hunter Yoko! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, when I was a teenager, I was really into Devil Hunter Yoko and like the whole series I had the whole I think the whole thing there were like four of them oh, Rain wants to read my old Utena fix I f was able to unearth a couple of them some I think are just lost to the ages um unfortunately fortunately or unfortunately <laughs> some more fortunate than others what hun? <laughs> I mean, it might still be out there somewhere. It's just. My Geo Cities are gone. <laughs> oh, the Geo Cities are gone. Well, that is probably on, a, like, what a lot of them were on. Wayback Machine? I mean, the thing is, I don't remember all of the site names. 
Like, that's the real trouble. I was able to remember, like, one or two of them and find them that way. But I think I would have to, like, know what the sites were called in order to find the fix. And, like, I was able to find some of them... One, like, one or two I was able to find by remembering the name of the site it was on, and then maybe, like, another one or two I was able to find by remembering the name of the fanfic. But there are a whole bunch of them that I just, I don't remember the sites and I don't remember the name of the fanfic. <laughs> so... Just kind of screwed there. Um, Alright. So until I get to the shadows and the shiny bits, I think that's all I can really lift from there. So. I mean. I think Chloe's jacket is a little bit lighter than Utina's. Because Utina's is just like straight up black. Um. And Chloe's is a little question mark. Like, it reads as black to me, but I think it's also kind of... Mm, like with her beanie, like it's a little bluish, it's a little something. But yeah, that should, that should read well enough. I think it's supposed to be a really dark navy. Yeah. Yeah, like, a lot of Chloe's stuff is, like, the color is kind of hard to read. Like, everybody's got a different interpretation of what color her beanie is. <laughs> like, is it black? Is it blue? Is it purple? Is it gray? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I usually draw it as, like, a deep bluish-purplish color. But there are plenty of people who disagree with that take. And color is fairly subjective. So yeah, like, I usually read her jacket as, like, something that's supposed to be black, but maybe it's, like, pretty faded. I don't know. Chloe Price. Who knows? Off black. that for I mean Max's hoodie is like a light gray and I think that Anchi's little bib there is like a teal or something so I think it'll probably be fine Oh, 
and speaking of Life is Strange stuff, I already mentioned on the Discord server that, um, and I think we mentioned in our last stream also, that uh, Velmax and I are going to be doing a tier ranking of Before the Storm ships uh, next Tuesday. So if folks have suggestions of ships they'd like us to talk about and rank, please let us know. You can, you know, shout it in the chat and I will try to remember them. Um, or you can do a comment or message me on social media, whatever you want to do. Um, because we want to have a pretty wide range of ships to talk about. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Rain says, I love this piece a normal amount. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's just, it's such a good scene. It's such a good moment. Such a gay little moment. And I love it. Utena and Anshi and all their gay little moments. <laughs> I am not totally feral for Life is Strange slash Utena crossovers. <laughs> Which, I mean, really, like, this should probably be my wheelhouse, right? Like, Utena is kind of where I got my start in fandom, and then I fell out of touch with that you know, with writing in general, really, for a few years, and then Life is Strange dragged me back in. <laughs> it says, I'm honestly surprised you haven't written anything for it. I haven't written Utina stuff in so many years. I don't know. <laughs> you can either write Chloe sword fighting or make Utena incredibly gender. I mean, Utena's already incredibly gender, let's be real. Utena, I think, was, like... I mean, it was also one of the first pieces of, like, very queer-oriented media that I consumed uh, in my life. <laughs> maybe this will be our collab after we finish The Mighty Dorks. I mean, maybe. If you've got an idea. Alright. Now the hard part. To start actually coming up with colors. Okay. Yeah, it, it is hard to decide who would be Anshi. Like... There are so many different ways you could go. <laughs> Chloe is Utena is just a gimme. Yeah. I have kind of gone back and forth on, like, Rachel as Anshi. Uh, just in the way that she, like, is what everybody wants her to be. Like, that's kind of her whole thing as the Rose Bride, is just, like, being who you want her to be. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Like, Rain says, my first impulse is Max, but on she isn't a wallflower. She's incredibly strong. <laughs> Rachel is Wakaba. Oh, I fucking love Wakaba. See, I had... I, I went through a thing of, like, trying to write the most ridiculous ships possible. Um... Shocking, I know. <laughs> Me? Coming up with bizarre rare pairs? It's more likely than you'd think. Um, but yeah, I definitely wrote, I, I think kind of the pinnacle of that was I wrote a Wakaba Anonymy fic. Because it just seemed so implausible. That's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'ma do this. <laughs> I'ma do this. Terrible. Ha <laughs> 
He says, I'm shocked, shocked to discover that gambling is going on in this establishment. <laughs> Here are your earnings. Thank you. <laughs> ah, come on, tablet. Tablet, buddy. Why? Love when it just spontaneously decides to be a dick. Come on, buddy. Apparently, there are tablets that don't even have to plug in. Ooh. If Victoria is a gimme for Nanami, yes. Then maybe Steph for Jody. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. <gasps> Max is Miki! Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it's gotta be either, like, Max or, like, Kate as Miki, right? Like, either Max or Kate for Miki, I would say. Because, like, he's such a pure little bean. God, I fucking love him. Oh, God. Kate is Kozue? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, I don't know. Like, is Kate fucked up enough to be Kozue, though? The darkest take on Marshfield. <laughs> Oh, uh, see you, Fashana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she could get there. Oh my god. Yeah. See, I, I really like Rachel as Anshi, but... I also like Rachel as um, Toga. Because again, the very pretty, very popular. Everybody loves them. Nanami's got a really creepy, gross obsession with them. Is on she. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. That could work. That could work. Okay, Max's bracelets are what, like pink and blue? Rinses for me, Alex or Mac are the, uh, Max are the top picks for Anchi. Interesting. Interesting. See, I, as I said, I like Rachel for it because of that, like, the malleability of her personality. Um, and also just, like, everybody wants to control her. Everybody wants a piece of her. Um... But she is also powerful and into witchcraft. <laughs> Rachel isn't passive, but I could see her putting on a facade of passivity to get what she wanted. But who would then be her Akio? The real questions. Nathan is Toga. Oh god, but does anybody actually like Nathan? Except for Victoria? <laughs> hmm? <clears throat> See, and this is why I have not yet written an Utena Life is Strange crossover, because it's too hard. It's too hard to to map the different personalities. Like, I get Steph for, for Jody, like, cause she's, you know, cool and beautiful and gay. Um, but like, would Steph just smack someone? I don't, I don't know that she would. Hmm. Right, need the necklace.
Steph or Rachel would work for Jody. Interesting. Yeah, we'd have to break out of the mold for some of them, definitely. Definitely. Mm. Also, I love the angle of unrequited love for Rachel. That's something you never see for her. It really is not something you, you get nearly enough of for Rachel. It is true. Yeah, like, if, if Steph is Juri, then who would be Shiori? Because Rachel's what would make sense, but, you yeah. know. Oh, hey, Cyrex! <laughs> I bring news from the Tinker. What does she say? Has she been shorn? I heard tell that there would be some bupper shearing. You know, I always think of this scene as being so blue, but like, it's there's a lot of green going on. Like, a lot of green. Is the beanie color too light? Hmm. I still think I need to put a little space between these two. Aw, she has had her treat and went outside. What a good girl. What a good bupper. There we go. Oh no, much to her dismay, there were children outside. My god, that does sound disquieting. kiddos. That's fair. That is absolutely fair. They are not for everyone. Hmm. How much do I want to stick to the original style of shading and how much do I want to do? Oh, she tried to bark at them. Oh, poor bork bork. She's like a little people Geiger counter. Oh, oh. But I reminded her that it was behavior not benefiting her. <laughs> or not befitting her. <laughs> for here anyway. Oh, why am I doing this on the color layer and not on a shading layer? Because I did not create a shading layer. Shading. There we go. <laughs> it says she's an elegant old Scottish lady. She does not growl. She bagpipes at people. Oh my god. Oh. There we go. Oh, she's currently having some crunchies. Oh, that's nice. Lucky pupper. Lexus little layers, am I right? Yes. You are indeed right. Okay. 
Let's see. so angular. It's so hard to decide like what to keep super angular, what to, to kind of change up a little. What is your hair doing again? Okay. So kind of from here, I guess. I mean, I can also just use my own shading sense, I suppose. But where's the fun in that? my crippling desire to draw blorbos, but also my lack of executive function. And it's a real problem. A genuine problem. And if you draw your blorbos now, you won't be alone. You'll be drawing blorbos with friends. this tagged arcane oh you know what i probably never changed that tag setting from the last drawing stream i did which i think was um v from arcane so i'll need to fix that So it is tagged arcane because I am forgetful. <laughs> but which Blorbo? Oh my. That is a diff difficult question. <laughs> oh, it's Vias and Violence. Sorry. <laughs> Roll a die. Yeah. have a d34 <laughs> oh god <sighs> her hair is so shiny in like the weirdest places really Just noting. Oh, 
but I just kind of improvise it a little. paralysis all oh. Tinker has entered the dog bed. Oh, what a cool baby. Oh, she's all tuckered out from yelling at children. The tiniest baby. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ryan says, it still amazes me that a dog can be as small as Tinker. Your cats are bigger than Tinker. I mean, in all fairness, our cats are pretty big, <laughs> but oh my god. And there were smaller dogs. Yes! There were little teeny tiny doggos. Sometimes I see people just like walking the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest dogs. It's just like, oh my god. How do you, like, I, one time I had um, friends who's, like, they adopted a dog and it turned out she was pregnant. Um, so they had like a whole litter of puppies at one point. And um, not long after they were born, I went to a concert with one of the friends and... Um, ended up sleeping on the floor with the dogs and they were so tiny that I was just like, I could barely sleep because one, they would not stop yapping and two, I was just absolutely terrified that like if I fell asleep, I'd just roll over and crush them because they were like teeny tiny. I had never slept next to anything so freaking small in my life. So yeah, tiny dogs. I don't know how anybody lives with like a permanently like, not Tinker Small, but like the really itty bitty bitty dogs. Like I would just be terrified of crushing it all the time. Just. I am too large for that. Illegally small doggo. Yeah. Some doggos are just terrifyingly small. Okay, mostly in shadow here. 
can work with that. The colors are just so pretty in this scene. All the blues and blue greens. Or actually, wait, her jacket needs some highlights, right? Yeah. Alright. Less shadow, more highlight. Shading and highlights on this. Apologies for the robot noises. <sighs> Let's need some little accents. I have no sense of where the light is supposed to be coming from in this scene. I'm not sure if the original artist did either. Okay, let's move 
move this a little closer to Anchi so I can see what I'm doing. Could you do the thing, please? Could you? Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> yes, please select color. shade things, so here's hoping that it'll come out looking all right. one roll their hair like this it's quite the skill especially if she's doing it by herself because she's got like you see in the later episodes like just miles of hair oh, choo choo helps oh Oh, ooh. Okay, so that that goes well with your your wanting um, Alex to be Anchi is Choo Choo and Shushu. So that does work. Being able to literally read people's minds would probably help in figuring out how to mold yourself to be what they want you to be. So if Alex were Anchi, hmm, who would be, um, and of course you, <laughs> of course you want Alex to be Anchi if you <laughs> ship Chen Price, of course, of course, I, I see it all now, it's all coming together now. <laughs> I'm on to you. Um, <laughs> God. Okay. So if, but if <laughs> you caught me, yep. 
I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, if she were, who would Sionji be then? Like, Mac? It does. It does work. There are so many ways that it can work. Like, there are just so many options. There's, like, too many options for making this all work. Shiny hair. Where is the light source in this scene? Like, it just seems like it's everywhere. Cause like, look, she's got light shining back here, but also up here and over here. And like, most of the shadows are kind of going this way, but like, Utenas are kind of going straight down, but Anshis are going like back into the side. is the lighting in this scene like it's beautiful don't get me wrong <laughs> but it's also just fucking weird <laughs> yeah probably the animators were thinking less about realistic lighting and more about like making it you know emotional <laughs> Time crunched, yeah. There is definitely, like, I love Utena so much. There is a lot of, um, like, recycled footage and stuff. Like, they just make it work with really good music. Not sure about these highlights. Yeah, the lighting makes no sense. The tableau is perfect. Yeah. Like, it- it's nothing I've ever really thought about until I started trying to colorize this. I was like, wait a minute! None of this lighting makes sense! <laughs> Not that my own lighting is perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know. Okay, well, she probably wouldn't have the chin one because she doesn't have big poofy sleeves in this. Hmm. I'm gonna give her a little shadow anyway. Why not? Just gonna really double down on, you know, atmospheric shading that makes no sense. Why not? It's Utena. <sighs> Rain says, I'm so ready for this work week to be over. It's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Oof. God, I got to spend another two hours on a conference call today for the same issue I spent three hours on yesterday. Ugh. That sounds awful. And I get to lead the next one for it tomorrow. Oh, God. Fun. That sounds horrible. Someone by your face. Okay. Well, there's not that much shading on this one, huh? Mm. 
And I've got a bunch of other duties piling up. That sucks. I'm sorry. Sorry you gotta deal with all that. I'm gonna throw in a little extra shading on the hand. I like I like to have a little hand shading. <laughs> I am the overworked furry making the world go round. <laughs> so you're just like sitting in the, the center of the world, just do 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 hundreds of computers and machines just Did you unplug again? Oh, good, you're still working. Whew! Whenever I hear that I'm disconnecting sound from my tablet, I just panic. <laughs> At least I'm making the Canadian border work. Fair. That's, you know, that's a substantial job. Substantial task. That's, that's a big country. What's that, hun? Uh, uh, it said something about not wanting all the maple syrup to flow away. <laughs> don't want all the maple syrup to flow away, but like over the border. Yeah, but well, that... I mean, we have it here, so maybe that's not as big of a deal as I would have thought. Yes, but you know our maple syrup isn't as good. Fine. Yes, but remember when we went to Canada and had the maple ice cream, and had the maple ice cream that has not been topped since it was really fucking good <laughs> thanks to the idiots at the airport <laughs> disconnecting sound oh like just that little boop -doo -doo. it's so frustrating okay what is that shadow on her hand like why does it go like that is such a strange way for a shadow to behave I'm just gonna kinda make it a little more subtle, maybe. And she's got it pretty much going all through her. <laughs> Disconnecting sound. Ghost. Panic! Yeah? Yeah? This is why I need to, you know, pick out and order a new, uh, tablet. I am intrigued by the ones that do not have to physically plug in, since the plugging in seems to be <laughs> the biggest issue that this one has. <laughs> Nothing to disconnect if it's not plugged in to begin with. Okay. Stretch out my hand a little. Stretching break. But she does not have much shadow on her face. I might add some shadow to her face. Just a little bit. I guess maybe her face is in the light? Who fucking knows? Ooh, Lexa sent me a DM. Oh my. I will check that later. Oh. Oh, yesterday on Discord. Yes, I kind of remember seeing that. I have been very distractible lately, sorry. <laughs> like, just exceptionally distractible. So, apologies. Okay.
<laughs> slides into your DMs. <laughs> The inside of Max's hood, and I'm over, overthinking everything now, but I think the inside of Max's hood is white. So I'm just gonna. Am I? Am I though? Hmm. Am I, or does that just look fucking weird? Be worse. Maybe make it a little darker. It's not that much darker. This looks good to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. I respect your opinion. Ooh, free pizza. What is this about free pizza? Free pizza? <laughs> I Rain said something about free pizza. Mmm, free pizza. There's a pizza chain near us that has lactose-free cheese, and I have enough loyalty rewards for a free large pizza. Nice! Well, enjoy your free pizza. That sounds amazing. Hmm, we could make pizza, but we'd have to make the crust, and that takes I mean, a couple I hours. Do it right now. Then go do it right now. Although, check, check the cheese and make sure the cheese is still viable before we commit to that bagged cheese yes bagged cheese i believe open bagged cheese oh olga's graduating Yay. congratulations olga oh, oh my olga's god uh no rain says also after this i've got to watch olga's graduation oh congratulations <sighs> to olga oh my god is very blue. Right? Yeah. Sad last pants. So it's in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this, I think this is the, the show that gave me the term sad lesbian shower. Because <laughs> of Jodi and her, her sad lesbian showers. Uh, yeah, DM it to me. I have lots of uh, stuff to write <laughs> for work tonight. So we. If the shadow is on this side. So confused by these shadows. <laughs> and then I guess, I mean, I guess that would be raised. Right? Ooh, watch the graduation while you paint minis. That does sound good. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> Can't wait for Olga to get the fuck out of Florida. Oh my god, I didn't realize that's where she was. Ooh, yes, please. Get her out of there. Okay. Bracelets. Oof.
Mm, she should be moving to Canada soon, but we'll see. That would be cool. That would be good for her, I think. I think that'd be really good for her. Okay. Um, we'll need to do the butterfly, of course. I don't think we need the cups of tea. All right, let us do a little, a little background texture. Oh, and write those shadows. I need to do those shadows too. Okay. Well, first. She seems fine. She seems fine. Oh, good. I can, um, I can get the dough started. Woo! Yes! Pizza! Pizza party. Or at least, you yeah, know, pizza consumption. Which, isn't that always a party? enough. Such an angular shadow. <laughs> kind of want to get some of that texture under it, but I don't know if that's going to be feasible. This doesn't really seem dark enough, even... I'm choosing from a different area. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yes. That is much different. to look at what I am looking at. La la la. There we go. Mm in the kitchen. Well, why'd you jump over there, buddy? Alright. Ooh, if I go 
If I move you under here, Shadow. Yes! Okay, cool. So I don't have to be precious about keeping it away from the color. I can just kind of go right under it. Just try to soften it a little. I know it's like the shadow is not that soft in the original, but whatever. Fuck it. This is my interpretation. <laughs> and I'll do soft shadows if I want to. Okay. That's kind of... I mean, it's... Really? What a strange, strange shadow shape. some changes to the shadow, I think. Just a little tweaking. Just come on. going with that. Uh, assuming there'd probably be a shadow back here too. strange. Such strange, strange shadows. Okay. Going all on this side of the arm. Sure. Because we've got apparently like 20 million different light sources. Like, if I recall correctly, I think the light is presumably coming from a TV set? Like a little TV? she has like a thing of watching like infomercials or you know shopping network or something and like falling asleep with her head on the table <laughs> how many light sources are there in this area all of them Yes, that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Just all the fucking light sources. Every single one. <laughs> you, you, you can't do- Oh, 
twelve of them! <laughs> a little bit under here, too. Why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going all in. Alright. Seems about right. Okay. Now. Ooh. Anshi and Utena at Blackwell would be interesting. Interesting. So just moving the, like, instead of putting the Life of Strange characters into Otori Academy, putting the <laughs> Utena characters into Blackwell. Interesting. Okay. I kind of want to make this glowy. Like, even though that adds yet another light source. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Glowing butterfly? Yeah! Utena and Victoria immediately coming to blows, and then Victoria having a hopeless crush on her. Of course. <laughs> you get a light source. You get a light source. You get a light source. Everybody gets a light source. <laughs> Same brain, Sal. Yeah. Glowing butterfly. Let's do it this way first, and then... Fancy it up once I've got the base colors in. Plus, making things look glowy is just fun. Presents ghost with a blank, stark white page. Ghost, what is this? Is it a light source? Is it gonna be a light source? <laughs> <laughs> Me excitedly, I give everyone a light source! <laughs> Correctly, I think there's some like darker trim around here too. So let's fucking do that. Yes, dear. I think there's a squirrel saying very rude things to our children. <laughs> there's a squirrel saying very rude things to our children. I think so. Wow. Do you think it's the particularly sassy squirrel who, like, came up and banged on the back door a couple times? <laughs> I 
I don't know. It's in the front, so. Mm. <laughs> Am I gonna drive this joke into the ground? Yes. Go for it. Go for it, my friend. Oh, I've got. Hang on. I have a reference for a blue morpho right here. It's just missing its head because Gideon ate it. Okay. Ooh, yeah, and you've got a big kind of area in here, too. Cool. Yeah, black around the edges of the wings. Yeah. They're so pretty. Well, I guess technically the butterfly in Life is Strange isn't quite a standard blue morpho because it looks like it's got the blue wings on both sides, which a blue morpho doesn't apparently. It's got like kind of spotty brown. <laughs> on the underside. But hey. That's not as cool looking, apparently. Okay. Let me tell you, I wish that, that <laughs> like, just for my own sanity's sake, I wish that they were just blue on both sides. Because, like, okay, I felted this, like, split, uh, what is it, Ganandromorph, uh, Blue Morpho a while back, and it is a pain in the ass to do the wings different colors on the different sides because like you poke in the brown starts coming up through the blue and then you poke in the blue starts coming up through the brown and just it is a pain oh, so when it closes its wings it can blend in with its surroundings that makes a lot of sense they mainly live in forests cool
neotropical forest, so warm temps, lots of flora, and lots of browns and greens. Even more nonsensical. Beautiful. on the wings are not only for scaring predators. Really? What else are they for? Huh. Some birds will purposefully target the eyes. What? Thinking it'll wound the creature. But this makes them miss the body of the butterfly. <laughs> Clever little buggers. Oh, Rain likes the soft blue glow. Oh, good. That was genuinely interesting. <laughs> oh, Rain says it looks great. Thank you. Huh. If the damage to the wings isn't catastrophic, the butterfly can get away. Nice. Clever morphos. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, a point highlight on the bullets from the butterfly glow. That makes sense. Yeah, the, the butterfly glow rendered the lighting system even more nonsensical than it already was. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think. I think that was a good call. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. Keeping me company through this stream. Oh, I'm, I'm happy with the way this came out. This, this came out looking pretty good. Despite the wonky uh, shadow physics. So, again... Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, what's today? Thursday? All right, so Tuesday, we will be 
back with the Before the Storm tier ranking list, so don't forget to get some ships to us if you want to ensure that they're included in our tier thing. Aw, Rain says, thanks for the lovely art. It's so gorgeous. And Lex agrees. Thank you. Thank you. That's very sweet of you both. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and then next Thursday... What did I put myself down for? I think I'm doing a Life of Sims 4 stream? Probably? Need to do some planning for that. Figure out what I want to be the hook for that one. Ah, all right. So have an excellent whatever time of day it is for you. And thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.